Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video a series of videos where I take a look at some non interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. My mouth is gone, but it's fuck all to do with my food. Uh, it really has gone. I'm not eating these. I have had them before. Someone else is using my air fryer, my air fryer, to cook these bad boys. And I can confirm they are bad boys. They're Iceland as well, uh, are you surprised? <laughs> and they're... I don't know what they are, but they're pretty bloody expensive, I would say. Anyway, what do I have to eat this week? Well, it's not something that is new, but it is something that I have never had. Um, it's Iceland's takeaway beef madras. Four chili rating, so I do not get out of bed. Uh, for any less than three chilies, you know who also doesn't get out of bed for anything less than three chilies? Robert, Robert says hello. Hello. Now, here's the thing. I have two of these. I have two of these from about 18 months ago in my freezer. Anyone who watches this series of videos knows that I absolutely love and adore and rate Iceland's uh, frozen curry uh, selection. Obviously, if you want decent curry, you go to curry house and you make one yourself. I'm not saying this surpasses that, but dying now, but I'm dying on my own product. Uh, if you do get a curry from a supermarket, I would suggest you get Iceland's. Buns of Merit, obviously you know about the Caravan Reef Chili Curry, it's currently discontinued, I think I have two of those in there. Um, we get to that, because that's the reason I had to buy this again. Uh, their Vindaloo is, now it's current stock, it's not limited edition anymore. It's a five chili rating, I think that's probably a bit strong for it, but it's alright. Their Prawn Buna, four chili rating, fantastic. Their Tikka Masala, for hot Tikka Masala, four chili rating, pretty good. Um, Chicken Madras, pretty good. Uh, I will never eat their regular tikka masala, and I will certainly never eat their korma, because those are two curries for pussies. In fact, korma is a fucking dessert. It's not a curry. If you're eating korma, don't eat curry, because you're not eating curry. Just just accept the fact that curry is not for you. And move on with your life. Anyway, so yeah, I have two of these, and anyone who knows my freezer uh, knows, uh, not just because of me in this series of videos, because we have a chest freezer, and it's in the shed, because it's shout. Uh, everything on top, recent, current to recent purchases. Everything underneath that, maybe two weeks to a month ago. Everything beneath that, you're never fucking seen again until you defrost that bad boy. And beneath that is the Jurassic layer. So I don't know which layer this is in, but I've had a look and I can't find it. I mean, when we defrost it next, then obviously I have a whole bunch of curries to look forward to. But people speak very highly of this. So I thought, uh, and it's been, I see, has it gone away and been bought back? I'll get to the fucking video in a minute. I don't know because I haven't seen it in my local Iceland's, two of them, the food warehouse, which is at Ashton Gay, and uh, I just thought you should know that, and the Iceland that's uh, Hartcliffe Way, and then the other one that's in Nelsie. None of those have had these. That's why when I saw this, I thought, hey, I got a minute, beef madras, you know? I've never had that, so I'm gonna have it. Also, it's a four chili rating, and I do like madras. I do like beef curries. Uh, everyone always just thinks chicken curry, prawn curry. Um, what do they not think? Maybe a lamb robe and Josh. I'm struggling with the Steph Windy Pops there. I think I got away with it. But yeah, people don't normally do beef. Might be a worry for something from a supermarket because this costs two pounds, I think. But yeah, so for fuck it, I'm gonna have a look at this bad boy this week, and then I've pretty much tried all the curries that they do, apart from beef and black bean sauce, which isn't a curry, I know, but it's in the Chinese curry section, but I'm not eating that shit, because it's beef and black bean sauce. And the two aforementioned curries that I just mentioned, which I'm not eating because they're pussies, um, curries. Anyway, microwave, eight minutes, don't do that, because it will come out like fucking rubber. Uh, I know it's only a Freddy, a Freddy, a ready meal, but obviously do this in the oven, which, it's preheated again because someone else has put chips in there. So I might have to swap the levels around. But 
I can't wait any longer because um, all I've had today is a fried egg sandwich. And it's coming up to quarter past five and this is my genuine tea and I am starving. But in the oven, fan 180 degrees Celsius, before we can off the Fahrenheit, 45 minutes. Preheat, blah, 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 blah. Cook it for 35 minutes. Remove the film, stir, bang it back in for another 10 minutes. Ingredients. Cooked beef brisket pieces, 24%. Meh, but then it's a, you know, it's a ready meal. I'm just going to, oh, more than it starts, what, just going to look at hot coconut milk. Um, rapeseed oil, paprika, 6%, tomato pasta, red chilies, green chilies, garlic puree, ginger puree, uh, desiccated coconuts? No, why? Maybe I won't like this. Um, doesn't appear to be too hot. There's the nutrition ingredients. Obviously, I have a table called Robert, so I don't have to worry about any of that shit. So, Bang this in now and not waste any time because I always go wrong on this. I may as well carry on doing the rest of the video <laughs> um, while I wait for it to cook. Kill some time if you will. Look at chunks of beef, mine. Might have to come in halfway through and stir them a little bit because I don't want them to get all dried up. No close uh, uh, idea how close I came to cutting myself then. Right, so you go in the oven. Get, better get this out. I'm all over the shop this week. I'm all over the shop. Don't tell anyone my passcode. Well, I can't stay mad at you. Right, Bosch. I reckon they're done. To be fair, I can't see fuck all, so I wouldn't know. But I'm banging you in. Right. So banging you on the top. Bosh. 45 minutes. And on with the video. Unfortunately, I did not prepare for this week in advance. And the only rice I have knocking around I, in my um, cupboard just thought you should know that's my cupboard, is Tesco Golden Vegetable Rice. I normally like my rice itself to have a little bit of heat, a little bit of cook, uh, kick. Um, not a massive fan of vegetable rice. I do like egg fried rice, but beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, do I have anything in Crisp Corner this week? Well, it's funny you should ask. I've been on a bit of a, let's see if we can get some American crisps kick. And I didn't realize that this bag was so small considering it was two pounds. But I found Doritos hot corn. Now, as far as I can tell, but I didn't want to look it up too much because I didn't want to spoil it for me, but this is not the same as sweet chili. This is supposedly actually quite hot because it says hot pepper flavored corn chips. Didn't realize came in such a putty ass small bag, but that's my rookie mistake. But I thought I'd definitely give those because I do like trying and see how the other half lives. Plus also I do have one of these bad boys. I haven't had one of these in about five years. I forgot how actually quite nice they are. They're very Moorish. I will go for the entire jar in one sitting. It certainly isn't hot, but it's not. I could eat this shit with a spoon. Also, who remembers a few years ago when they did hot barbecue and it was fucking nuclear. It was hot as some curries. It was like scorchingly hot. Get on that and bring that back. Anyway, dying here. Do I have anything new in Eddie's Bar? But it's funny you should ask. Welcome to Eddie's Bar. I bagged this from um, Tesco's for one seventy nine, maybe two pounds. That seems a bit cheap for a brand is um, you know recognises Blue Dragon, and it's hot sweet chili. But Dave, I hear you say you don't like sweet chili. No, I don't. But I'm not going to pass it up if it's a three chili rating because you never get sweet chili that's three chili rating. So I'm definitely all over this bad boy. And the rules are simple. I now have to find another one of these to polish it off. But since I discovered the charms, as I said last week, of sticking hot sauce 
in my fried egg sandwiches. Uh, that's not going to be an issue. Anyway, let's have a look at the weather. Look at that. It's about 25 degrees out there. I hate summer. But what can you do when it's this hot? Why not have a hot, refreshing curry? So yeah, and the air's really, really still. It's only rained one day this week. I think it might rain two days next week. And unfortunately, it's only going to get hotter. Anyway, on the subject of heat and climate, did you see how I segue there? Interesting things that happened this week. Did anyone hear about that flight from London to Singapore? I think it eventually ended up having to stop in Bangkok because very sadly uh, a 75 year old man on the plane died because they hit um, severe as <clears throat> the legacy media is reporting it severe extreme turbulence uh, so yeah that's very very sad but turbulence is nothing new for planes I've encountered it a bunch of times I uh, certainly not a massive fan of flying it's not a particularly nice experience but the legacy media use this as an excuse to jump all over it, you know, because there's no lengths they won't go to to beat you over the head with the fucking climate stick. Because they know that the majority of people now are waking up to the fucking con job that this is and understanding that it's just an excuse for the government to make money out of you and control the population. And we can't have people thinking for themselves. They should shut up and go and live in a cage in their 15 cave with no power, the only driving cars that they can't afford in their 15 minute city. Uh, while they live as they want to, do as I say, not do as I do, on their mountains of cash that they're all making because their mates are on the board of directors of all these fucking billionaire green companies. It's the world's biggest fucking con. So anyway, <clears throat> they all jumped over with fucking extreme turbulence caused by climate change. Fucking everyone. Uh... And a few people rebutted them, which is good and never normally happens. What a fucking con. It's like no pebble can be remained unturned into scaring the population. Like literally will hijack anything. No fucking evidence of this whatsoever. Just kept saying climate change has made air travel more dangerous forever. So a couple of people who are basically not the 97% of scientists funded by government. So therefore they have to accept their narrative and no other fucking narrative. Um, delved into this and proved that over the last five decades, turbulence is no different than it's always been and explained how it existed and what it was and what caused it. And that basically, keep your fucking seatbelts on in a plane at all times. But no, 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 they had to go on about this, didn't they? They absolutely had to go on like, yeah, fucking, you're all going to fucking die. In fact, you shouldn't fly. We'll fly. We're the fucking BBC. We can report on all this stuff. And our climate fucking investigator lives in a two million pound mansion and has a carbon footprint the size of fucking Kong. But you can't. You can't. Shut up. Extreme turbulence. Climate change. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. If you want to be scared of something, right? And I don't like flying, but statistically, a motor vehicle and more so a motorbike is more likely to kill you. Like 10 times more likely to kill you than fucking flying. But no, 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 don't forget, don't forget. Fucking climate change has now created something called extreme turbulence. What a load of bollocks. Anyway, <clears throat> it's therapeutic. I swear it is. Let's get into this bad boy. So, what, 45 minutes? Ugh, what's on TV? I don't know. Anyway, see you in a bit. I was shot that. Just a tad. Uh, it smells absolutely fantastic in here. My mouth has turned into an absolute tap. There's vapour in the air, which I always think is a good sign. I can feel it in my eyes. Um, but it smells absolutely resplendent. So I had a quick look at what makes a madras different from other curries. And it's a traditional, um, strong Indian curry, strong in heat, but not nuclear, because what they do is towards the end of the cooking process with the sauce, dying here that's when they add the tomatoes and that's supposed to temper its heat level but it is traditionally known as you know a higher end curry in the heat whether or not i feel that from a four chili rating so no but did he get away with it i think he did oh that smells amazing look at what you could have won. I was shot that just a tad. Uh, it smells absolutely fantastic in here. My mouth has turned into an absolute tap. There's vapour in the air, which I always think is a good sign. I can feel it in my eyes. Um, but it smells absolutely resplendent. So I had a quick look at what makes a madras different from other curries. And it's a traditional um, strong Indian curry, strong in heat, but not nuclear, because what they do is towards the end of the cooking process with the sauce, dying here that's when they add the tomatoes and that's supposed to temper its heat level but it is traditionally known as 
you know, a higher end curry in the heat. Whether or not I feel that from a four chili rating, don't know. But, did he get away with it? I think he did. Oh, that smells amazing. Stick that over there. Come and have a look at what you could have won. You know what, this shit, I, never stops me getting nervous. It's never done me any harm yet, but I just don't like the idea of putting plastic in the oven. It's like, you were always told to, to fear it, to never ever do it. And all of a sudden, in the late 90s, it came completely acceptable. But the other thing about Madras is, obviously, it's got this orange cover, Shizen. Very orange color, cover, color, but there's a decent amount of beef in there. So I've got to stick that in for 10 more minutes. So I may have ever done it, but I'm going to stick it in for 10 more minutes. Right, burn my hand this late into the party. That will be good to eat at five past six. Right. 44, 32, close enough since I overdid it a little bit. Also, look at me multitasking. Got my rice. I hate doing this bit. This is where I always fucking burn my hands. And yeah, this smells amazing. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Nah. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't do that at home. I think I got away with it. I think I got away with it. Right, uh, let's plate this bad boy up. Gonna have to let this bad boy cool a little bit, I feel, because uh, I don't want third degree burns, which I'm gonna get off this anyway. So, sorry if you do watch to eat, but rules are rules. Don't know why we do this in Bristol, but Go make a little hole in the middle. Go make a dam to hold my curry. That smells fucking fantastic. Well, it's like a dress, basically, and I do like madrasses. See, there's vindaloo, and then there's uh, madras, then there's jalfrezi, and then there's probably, no, I have a boona above a jalfrezi. Anyway, let's see if I can do this without horrifically burning myself. Look at the oil. Good in there. Look at that. Look at it making an escape there. Aha, gravity. How do you like them apples, curry? Righty, oh, I'm dying. You go over there. You get wiped. Want a clean reading. Fire extinguisher of choice. Something a little bit different this week. I think I got this in Tesco's. It's Fentiman's Victorian Lemonade. So, it's a cloudy lemonade and I'm assuming you shake it. Yeah, you can see sediment and shit. There's a lot of it in there. Um, yeah. The only other thing I've tried is their Coke, like traditional medicinal Coke, and it tastes like, it will taste like a traditional medicinal balm or something, and like, not very nice. Hopefully, a different experience on this. Am I gonna be able to, just to recycle, I don't just throw shit on the floor. I'm not gonna be able to do this one handed because we're a bit stacked, and I don't wanna get shit all over the floor, but, Go, let's get a bit of sauce with rice first. Like a decent amount. Um, oh my God, I'm dying here. Two tears in a bucket, fuck it. Right, it's really, oh here it comes. It's really rich, like the bits there have gone all squiffy and squirrely now. Um, rich as in like rich in tomatoes, you can taste the tomatoes and yeah, I can taste the coconut. It's quite creamy but it's a madras and there's a little bit of heat 
I was expecting more for a four. Um, back of my throat's got a tickle. End of my tongue, back of my lips. It's got a little bit of a build going on, I imagine. Let's try that again. Don't move. It is very nice. I think a four chili rating is really rather quite generous for it. But yeah, it's a nice madras. It could do with being hotter, but you know, they're not supposed to be nuclear. I still may have um, built in though. I can feel a little bit, a little bit of sweat, but I'm wet because I'm standing in front of a fucking sunny window. Um, hence this. Also, don't act like you're not impressed with the coolest t-shirt ever. It's a builder. Back of my lips are tingling now. Get a decent amount of beef. This is where it, uh, the crunch comes in. It's a pretty big chunk. So, fuck it. You know what? Excuse me, Pete. That's a very nice big piece of beef. Still building a little. It still tastes lovely, very rich. End of my tongue's moving up. Um, yeah, it wasn't gristly. It wasn't fatty. It obviously been seasoned by the sauce it's been sat in, hence the fact that my tongue, after chewing that, is, yeah, it's definitely stepping up a level, but three and a half, I would say. I have no idea why I'm twirling my fork. Three and a half, but it's a nice curry. Um, where would I rate it? Uh, their booner's better because it's hotter and I like prawns. Um, it's better than their chicken madras. Uh, I won't touch the tikka masala, regular one, and I won't touch the kumaris, no. Um, I would say Vindaloo, Jao Frazee. Obviously, Carolina Repo, right at the top, but that's not around all the time. But this is really nice, and there's a bit of a heat thing going on here. Anyway, palate cleanse. Dear Lord, that's fan. Wendy Pops, fantastic. But yeah, Iceland, take away beef madras. I don't know why it took me so long to get around to trying this bad boy. Well, I do, first of all, problems with my freezer. But, let's get another piece of beef. There's a small piece here, see? really lean okay it's not grisly there's a latch going on there it's, it's a builder um maybe i'll give it a full chili rain being generous because there's a latch going on there it's building up but yeah um there's a bay leaf okay don't do bay leaves piss off i'm gonna put fucking forestry in my fucking food bowl um also the meat really melts like just falls apart when you chew it I would recommend, but if you're looking for something hot from your frozen curry, get the Vindaloo from Iceland, which in itself is not nuclear. See both times I have eaten it in video form. But yeah, this is all right. I really, really do like this. This is a low, medium heat, I would say. Now, medium heat, um, very tasty curry. You can tell it's very tasty because those bits at the back of my uh, mouth and neck, excuse me, windy pops, are going all squirrely as tits now. Anyway. This has been around for a few years, so I know a few of you, Windy Pops, have recommended this to me, and I meant to get around to doing it, but I can't find them in there anymore. They'll show up now, you know that, don't you? Um, they'll be like a landslide in my freezer or something, and in the permafrost at the bottom, they'll be there. But yeah, I recommend this, I do recommend this, but if you want something really, really hot, maybe not so much. Anyway, it's always a love to know what you think. It's dying still. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.